Hi guys, it's Lemelsi here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building another family home, and this time it's a custom content family house, which I am very excited to share with you guys. I really enjoy doing custom content like showcases where I showcase a single content creator's content, <laughs> custom content. And this time I am showcasing the Organic pack, which was a collaboration pack by Felixander and Harry. I will have everything linked in the description box that you guys need if you want to download this. It is available for early access on their Patreon page if you would like to support them there. And then the public release will be on September 6th. But this is also only part one of the Organic pack. They will have part two, which I... I cannot wait for. I am loving this custom content so much. It feels like almost playing with a different game because the items are just like such high quality and they're just so beautiful and like classy and just, they're just really beautiful pieces. <laughs> and I just, I really enjoyed using them here to uh, build this house. Something that I actually decided to do was download the rest of their collaborations because they've actually collaborated on a few different packs. They created a, um, a kitchen themed pack, which was called Kitchen. I believe that one was their first collaboration. And I did a, uh, an apartment, I think a long time ago using that pack. And they also did a bathroom set, which I think was called Bathroom, if I remember correctly. They have the funnest names for their packs. I really always enjoy uh, hearing what they come up with. And then they also had the um, Tiny Twavelers pack, <laughs> which is also so adorable. And I believe the Living Room pack, which was Living Rum. <laughs> they, yeah, like I said, all of their names are super fun and their, their items are just really high quality. Here on the exterior, when I'm first building the house, you will only see the stuff from the organic pack. So like this door, the windows, uh, there's also new shingles, which are really pretty for roofing. I decided to use just the roofing from Cottage Living because I wanted it to have that more like kind of Disney cottage feel. I know it's not just Disney, but I just, I don't know. It always reminds me of Disney and it just makes it feel so cottagey and super cute. Um, but yeah, the shingles are also really nice. There's also glass roofing, which you'll see on the greenhouse that I created. And there's just so many really cool pieces, like the shutters I especially really like. And yeah, it's just, the, everything is just so nice. Like, I don't know what else to say besides it's beautiful. Like, I was completely blown away. Like, every time I download one of their packs and I use it in a build, I'm always really impressed. But this one is just especially really nice. And the colors, I just love. I decided to use the... Um, this like light brown, like sandy brown color, I think is really, really pretty. And um, yeah, I kind of went a little bit overboard with it and I just really like the way it turned out. Here I'm using these nice little windows to create an open sort of feel into this room. This ends up being like a home office. So the light will actually come through those windows and like shine in and it just looks super pretty because I deleted the roof. So it's nice and like open. Um, and then I also created a modern extension. Since this custom content is very, it's it's traditional, but it's also modern. Like it's a really nice mix. It feels just very contemporary, I think. Like it's not too far leaning to either side. It just feels like an updated sort of cottage feel. And it just feels very sophisticated and just very classy, like all of their stuff. And I just felt like if I was going to use this pack, I needed to do a modern extension. So that's what I decided to do. Um, there's also the greenhouse, like I mentioned. I thought about creating two, but I felt like one was plenty. I didn't want this lot to be overly crowded. Plus I wanted enough space to add a swimming pool because I feel like if you're gonna have a luxury house like this, no matter where it is in the world, you're probably gonna have a swimming pool. And so I wanted to create one of those. I also wanted to create an outdoor like lounge area with a barbecue and like an outdoor dining table and some lounge chairs and stuff. And there are other packs that I downloaded here in a little while come with like perfect stuff for creating a patio. Oh yeah, that was another collaboration that they did was a patio themed pack. I forget the name of it right now, but everything um, is available. All of the other packs you can download right now for free. I will have everything linked in the description. Like I mentioned, you can download all of their stuff and use them. They are such high quality and everything is just so like clean and organized, like their site and stuff. It just, it's very intuitive and just makes so much sense. And I think, um, you guys should just definitely check it out. Um, they also both create their own custom content and have Patreon pages, so you guys can go support them there. Harry also has a YouTube channel. I will have it linked. And all of like their social medias and stuff, just follow them everywhere because they're both very talented and 
I just, I adore the stuff that they do and I hope that they continue making their content for a very long time because it's just so good. Um, another thing that I wanted to create was a pond. So I decided to do like this circle driveway with a pond in the center. Um, and so, yeah, I just thought that was kind of fancy and kind of also luxurious. That was definitely on my mind when I was thinking of things to do. I feel like circle driveways are always so fancy. <laughs> Let me know if you guys agree. Um, but there's also the garage space. Um, I think I forgot to mention that, but the garage is also really nice. Um, I end up cluttering it up with just general garage items, but we'll see that towards the end of the video. And here I'm finally using the tool mod in build mode. I am finally getting comfortable with the way everything is organized. Like I mentioned in my, uh, I'm not sure if it was the last video or the video before I was talking about watching all of the tutorials by Twisted Mexi. I just, I can't believe I have been missing out for so long. <laughs> um, there's so much you can do and I still have barely like scratched the surface of it. Um, I'm like doing like the bare minimum that this mod can do, but I will also have this linked in the description so you guys can use this mod as well. I highly recommend it if you guys are into building. There's just so many possibilities and you can really create unique builds that nobody else could create because there's just so many different there's just so many different options and like freedoms when it comes to like sizing and rotating objects that you can get really creative so um, i highly recommend it and yeah the the description box is going to be filled with so much stuff um and i also decided to use this terrain paint for the driveway it's just a base game terrain paint and i think it looks really nice um yeah, I, I don't know. I like it. I thought this stone actually looked really pretty. Um, but here I decided to start with some landscaping to try to like get an idea of what that was going to look like. I really, I really like landscaping my builds kind of in pieces sometimes and getting part of the landscaping kind of like envisioned in my mind because it makes the build kind of come together and I can see it more as a whole. A lot of you guys comment on how I build where it's like, some of you say it's like a puzzle where I'll start building like the, the front facade and I'll start adding a few decorations and I'll build a little bit more. And I just, I cannot build in like big chunks. Like a lot of people will build like boxes and build upon boxes and then start adding the details. When I just start building boxes, most of the time I just, I can't see how it's going to look. So if I add like a door and I add like a couple of lights or plants to kind of shape in the build, I can get a better idea of how it's going to look with the finished product. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. I'm trying to explain it as best as I can, but um, I just thought I would mention that because a lot of you guys do comment on the way I build, but I think that's why I decided to uh, start with the garage and add like the wisteria and the windows and just like get an idea of how this whole build was going to look. Um, so yeah, that's why I did that. Um, here you'll see I'm also using the tool mod for the plants because that is something that I've mentioned, I think in quite a few videos recently that I've been needing to use the tool mod for because one of the main reasons I don't use the terrain manipulation in game or haven't is because the plants don't really snap that evenly to the terrain. And with the tool mod, you can actually lower them down into the ground. And so it looks like they're more sitting on the terrain more naturally. And so I think it's, it's just a must have for me now. I'm like never gonna not build without it now. And also to use these columns to get them the right size because I really wanted to use this debug gate, but unfortunately the pillars right by um, like the ends, it didn't match the fence that I wanted to use. I really wanted to use this fence because I thought the like creamy color and the stucco texture just matched the build style that I was going for. I mean, I'm not really sure if you would see a stucco fence in like the countryside of England or with a house like this in real life, but I thought it looked really nice. And I think adding those stone pillars kind of made it feel a little bit more cottagey, but I felt like the fence that came with cottage living was a bit too like cartoonish for this build. I mean, I don't know if that makes sense, but like the, the items that came in this custom content pack are definitely Maxis Match. They look like they belong in the game, but they don't feel as cartoony as the stuff that comes in The Sims. I think it's more like the color options because the color options in this uh, organic pack are just very just sophisticated and classy. <laughs> like I feel like those are the words that I think of when downloading uh, their custom content packs and using them and just seeing like their color palettes. It just feels very mature and not so whimsical and like cutesy and cartoony. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, here I'm adding some decorations to the pond. I added some white ducks and some fish and tadpoles and dragonflies and 
fireflies and so many just little um, cute little things to add to the pond. And it's kind of unfortunate that they're those little slabs. I mean, it doesn't look, I mean, it looks pretty bad, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys think I should add those details at the very end of the video rather than adding them in the middle of the speed build because are they distracting or do you guys not mind seeing those little slabs on the water? Let me know because I can definitely just add the pond details at the end or I can even add them before I take the screenshots. Let me know if they're necessary. But anyways, over here I'm working on the landscaping. With the landscaping, I of course used mostly the live edit objects plants. There's a couple of plants that are like the regular build and buy plants. And I think that's mostly just like the hedges that I use because um, yeah, I thought they looked really nice and plus they fit really snugly against the house and you don't have to worry about them snapping up onto the foundation like most of the live edit objects plants do. But either way, on the left side of the build, I created a little play area for the children. Right now there's just a swing set, but later on I will add um, a sandbox. I create my own like custom sandbox because of course we don't have any sandboxes in in game but thankfully with the sand I I'm not sure if it's all the sand in the game but I know definitely the sand that came from Island Living you can actually dig in and build sand castles so that's the sand that I used because I wanted the sandbox to actually be functional but I also placed some like toys and stuff in there so I'm not really sure if the Sims will have room to build a sand castle but if you wanted to delete the toys they could easily do that instead but um yeah, I think it turned out to be really nice. And I was thinking that this family has a teen and a child. For a moment, I thought about creating a toddler's bedroom because one of their custom content packs, the Tiny Travelers pack, it's just, it's perfect for creating toddler rooms and like nurseries. But I just saw this family as more having a child. But I mean, really this house isn't super personalized. You could easily have any family move in here that you would like to, because I was more focused on decorating something that I thought looked pretty and complimenting the custom content rather than focusing specifically on like a family's personalities. So hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully you guys like the way I decorated it. It took me a long time. As you can probably tell, this build is pretty long. I spent a long time just decorating it and figuring out the floor plan and adding like details and stuff. Here I'm working on the floor plan. This floor plan was a little bit tricky, mostly because I'm using the medium wall height and the stairs just take up so much space <laughs> when building in the medium wall height. I just, I normally build on the short wall height. And so anytime I go to place the stairs on the medium wall height, I just realize how much room they take up. But thankfully I made it work. It took me a little while to figure out like the placement, but I really like the floor plan. You walk into like this hallway, there's immediately a bathroom to your right. And then you walk through the archway into the actual like living area with the TV. And the TV that I end up using looks like a piece of art. It is so pretty. I think it probably came with their living room pack. It's it's really beautiful. So you'll see that here in a little while. Up until this point, I still only have the organic pack installed in game. So those are the only custom content pieces that you're seeing still. And then um, to the right of the living room is the office space. And then to the left is that whole modern extension area where I put the kitchen, a dining area, and then also like a lounge area in front of a fireplace that I placed in there also. But here you can see I'm working on the floor plan for the second floor. So up here are three bedrooms and two bathrooms. There's a parents like master suite with a nice open bathroom. I really liked using this archway that has like the sliding door. I thought that was perfect to put on like a master bedroom bathroom. And you can like look from the bed into the bathroom and see the bathtub. It feels just very like romantic and very just classy and pretty and I really just enjoyed decorating that area. The master bedroom itself though is pretty small and it was a lot smaller than I wanted it to be but that's just kind of how the floor plan worked out but if you feel like you don't want that fancy of a bathroom then you could easily just shrink the bathroom or get rid of it altogether and have a much larger bedroom. But here you can see I'm creating the sandbox so I used these wooden uh, decorations from the debug menu to create the walls or the sides of the sandbox if you could call it that and then I just filled it with sand and a few toys later on I add a dollhouse that came in their tiny travelers pack and I thought that looked really nice in there but like I said you could delete the decorations and just build sand castles in there because that's totally functional um, here I'm adding some exterior lights I add just some base game lights. Oh, and at this point, I just realized I do have their other packs installed now. So now you will see their other custom content, but every custom content piece that I'm using is a collaboration from Felixander and Harry. And like I mentioned, they're just, they're beautiful. They're such high quality and everything just goes together really nicely. Even though all of the different packs have their own like 
themes, you know, they have their own feel and they stand alone perfectly by their by themselves. You can use them all together and the colors are really cohesive and they just match and flow together really nicely. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, basically ever since I realized that they were going through and basically doing themed packs for every room in the house. So up until this point, they've done a bathroom, a kitchen, living room, patio, and children's rooms. And now they're doing the um, organic pack, which is based on cottage living. It's just an, like an extension of cottage living. And I think it still pairs really nicely with their other items. And I can't wait to see part two. Like I know they're gonna do an interior theme since the first part was exterior themed. And I just, I need it like now <laughs> so badly. Um, but here you can see I'm working on the kitchen. I really love the way the kitchen turned out. It's pretty small considering like how large the whole modern extension area is, but I wanted it to feel more like the original kitchen space because this is supposed to be an older cottage that has been like basically gutted and they've redone the interior to be more modern. And of course they added the modern extension, but this is where the kitchen was originally. So in the original like floor plan to this cottage, I imagine it was very like tiny and closed off in like a very just small little kitchen room basically. Um, but they took out the walls, they added this modern extension, but they left some of like the original pieces like the stonework behind the sink. I thought that was probably like the original stone that was there in like the original cottage, um, but they've updated it and I thought that was really nice. So I just enjoyed thinking of those extra details and I really enjoyed decorating this room. I really just love having book clutter and bowl clutter and like glasses and just different realistic kitchen clutter. I don't understand why we don't have that in any pack. Like we, we don't have like any just like stack of bowls. Like we do have this one stack of plates now that came from Snowy Escape, but that's like it when it comes to plates and bowls and glasses, we don't have any of that and I just don't understand why. But I really enjoyed using that here in the kitchen. It just makes it feel so much more lived in and just realistic and just like the book clutter, they stack on top of each other, like it's so genius. I just love that so much and like their artwork and everything is just so beautiful and I think this kitchen turned out to be really nice. They do have a stove that came with their pack but I decided to use the ones from Snowy Escape because I thought it would be nice to have uh, the stove top on the island and then the actual like oven part in the cabinet. So you could easily use the one that came in their kitchen stuff pack if you would like to. And also that long cabinet is a refrigerator. It's not just storage. So um, yeah, if you were thinking that it doesn't have a refrigerator, that is one. Um, but over here is a fireplace. This came with the organic pack and the fireplace is really beautiful. Like it's, it's stunning. Like it's one of the most beautiful fireplaces I've seen, not only in The Sims, but in real life. I really like it a lot. They also have another fireplace that came in this organic pack part one also that you will see in the master bedroom. I still need to play test that to see if I need to move the bed like closer to the wall or something. I used the tool mod to pull the fireplace into the wall. You'll see what I'm talking about when we move on to the master bedroom, but I really wanted to use that fireplace and I felt like in this type of home, you might have a fireplace in the master bedroom. So that's what I decided to do. Um, over here, I created a little like just lounge area in this corner with this nice side table, cluttering it up with different decorations. I love this statue with the plant growing out of the head. I want a statue in real life that has plant hair. <laughs> um, my friend has one that has kind of a scary face, but I think they're just, they're so cool. And I, I need one, I need to find one. I, I honestly, I don't think I've ever found one in a plant store in real life. I've seen them online advertised, but I've never just been out shopping for plants and vases and found one. So I need to I need to start looking more. But either way, that's it for the whole modern extension area. You will see that I placed one of the lights that I'm using throughout this build above the dining table because I kind of just forgot about that, but you will see that in the screenshots. And then over here is going to be the living room. I really love the way the living room turned out. And this rug, by the way, is so pretty. I use it in almost every single room in this build. I love the texture and the colors and the patterns. It's just, it's like one of the most perfect things I've ever seen. But here you can see that TV that I was talking about. So it is a TV, but it looks like a piece of art. And I've seen TVs like this in real life and I need one someday. Like it's 
it's a dream of mine. <laughs> like it, there's, it's so nice just not to see the big flat screen. It just looks so classy and pretty. But here I'm adding some extra decorations to the kitchen. I was looking for the cutting boards. There's the one cutting board that I found that sits flush on the counter, but there's another one, this one, that leans against the wall, but I just wasn't really sure where it was, but I found it. Um, but here I'm adding some more artwork into the living room. These paintings are really beautiful. They look like they're dipped in paint and like, the like the color of the paint just looks so creamy and like the texture is just really nice like i was completely just drooling over the colors and the textures of this stuff if you guys can't tell um but over here i have a nice little side table with a stack of magazines and a really beautiful plant decoration they actually took the mesh out of that one plant vase that i always use that came from uh the i believe it's the paranormal stuff pack they took the mesh for the plant out of there and added it to a different vase and I think it's so genius and it's beautiful. Um, here I'm adding a couple more decorations to the kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen was definitely a work in progress. Um, over here is the entryway, so I used this mirror. I'm not sure what pack this mirror came with, but it's definitely one of the packs by Felix, Andrew, and Harry. And then here I'm creating a custom bench in the hallway, putting some shoe clutter underneath of it that came from Dream Home Decorator. And this is where I really wish that one of their stuff packs came with throw pillows, because I would have put a couple of throw pillows on that bench and I think it just would have looked like so cozy. And I thought about using some of the other like cushions and stuff that they have, like um, the different seats <laughs> basically that they have from other packs. And I thought about using like the tool mod to rotate them, but they really wouldn't have looked the way I wanted to. And so I just kind of thought it was unnecessary. So I just left it alone. But yeah, I did, I did think about it for a little while. So Harry and Felixander, could we have throw pillows please? <laughs> in one of your other packs so the next time i do a build using your stuff i will have throw pillows please um yeah that would be amazing but either way i think that entryway turned out to be really nice and yeah i just i thought it's super cozy um over here is going to be the home office this wallpaper came from their tiny travelers pack and it's so pretty there's tigers and there's toucans and the texture and like the color everything about this wallpaper is like pure perfection it is so beautiful um but in here i have a computer desk i have a lounge chair um, a chess table i thought this chess table that came from i believe city living actually matched the colors that i was using in this build really nicely oh there looks like there's like maybe some jaguars or something in this wallpaper too i didn't realize that but this wallpaper is so pretty i thought it looked so nice in here um and then over here i'm using this side table and plant that came from base game because harry actually worked on some items for the sims team to release in a base game update and so her custom content is actually in the game she's amazing <laughs> like i said everything will be linked in the description so you guys can follow her everywhere um but yeah over here i'm using this lounge chair i thought that looked really pretty and putting some like artwork and stuff around and then here i'm cluttering up the computer desk i really wanted to add like a lot of clutter to this computer desk but it ended up looking a bit too crowded with the computer on it so i thought about removing the computer and then thinking the sims could just place their laptop there but what i decided to do was just remove the boxes leave the computer and then move the books over and so it still looks like fully decorated but it's not so cluttered and too busy looking because i felt like that's kind of the direction i was like going in it was just looking too cluttery um but over here is going to be the downstairs bathroom so this bathroom does have a stand-up shower a toilet a sink and different clutter items uh like i mentioned they did create a whole bathroom themed pack so i think mostly the items that i'm using in here come with that stuff pack so the shower this really beautiful um like leaning wall decoration like the towel rack is so like super pretty um and there's also a new toilet paper holder different towel racks and just so many amazing things and this toilet's really nice too very just uh simple and modern looking and the shower is also really beautiful i love how it's glass all the way around so you can see whatever like tile or stonework you're putting around it um i think that looks really pretty but um here moving on to the second floor so the whole first floor is finished and up here is three bedrooms like i mentioned and two bathrooms and i create a teens room the teens room is probably my favorite just because it feels so just classy and nice and I think the colors that I end up going in there are just are really pretty um first I'm decorating the hallway in the hallway I put some artwork I also end up using that same side table that I've been using throughout the build um I place it in here with a couple of decorations on top of it I really like this table I'm pretty sure it came with their patio themed pack which I think is called Jardine if I'm remembering correctly <laughs> I'm trying to be very good about remembering all of their pack names but of course um 
yeah, I haven't really used all of them before. I've done some showcases of some of their packs, but I've really been waiting for like this moment where they have enough of them cr to create an entire build. And so it's very exciting for me and I can't wait for part two to come out like I've mentioned so many times in this video already, but I will definitely be doing another showcase once that's released. And I'm not sure if I will be using all of their packs again or just showcasing the organic packs one and two. Let me know what you guys think I should do, or maybe I should do two different ones, but I definitely wanna do more CC showcases just to kind of mix things up a little bit and add a variety of types of builds to my channel. So yeah, there I just quickly decorated the upstairs bathroom. So this is the bathroom that the children would share. And then over here is going to be the master bedroom. So like I mentioned, the master bedroom part itself is a lot smaller than I would have wanted it to be, but they do have a very grand master bathroom. So um, maybe that's what they wanted more than like the actual bedroom space. But like I mentioned, you could easily make the bathroom smaller or get rid of it altogether if you felt like you needed more bedroom space. Um, but here I'm using this fireplace that I was talking about earlier. So I really wanted to use this fireplace, but it was a bit crowded. So I ended up using the tool mod just to pull it in a little bit closer to the wall. And I think it ended up giving me enough space. But like I said, I do have to play test this to make sure it's not gonna like set the bed on fire or maybe your Sims can't even light the fireplace. But even if they can't light the fireplace, I think it looks really nice just like it's purely decorative. So yeah. I think it looks good anyways. And the bed that I'm using came from Snowy Escape. I thought the wood frame actually matched the style that I was going for and like uh, the colors, I think just worked really nicely compared to the other beds that we have from other packs. I think other beds would have worked, but I thought this one worked a little bit better. So another thing that I'm requesting is a bed. <laughs> they haven't done a bedroom theme. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. I can't wait for that. I was like so excited. I'm sure they already have it planned out. I mean, I don't know for certain that they're going to do a bedroom theme, but I assume they're going to because they've already done so many other like rooms in the house that they have to do a bedroom one. And it's, I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. I'm sure they're already planning it. Um, but anyways, over here is going to be the master bathroom. So like I said, from the bed, you can see the bathtub. I just love when bathrooms are like this, when there's a bathtub like in a special location, like in front of a window or where you can see it from like the bed itself. It just seems so sophisticated and pretty and just romantic and I just, and just kind of dreamy basically, like pure luxury. Um, but each of the bathrooms in this build, I tried to make them feel cohesive. Like I'm using a lot of the same items throughout the bathroom, but they're all different and they feel unique, but still cohesive. So I think they turned out to be really nice. Um, but over here is going to be the child's room and the teenager's room. So the child's room, originally I was gonna go for this like dinosaur themed because there's the stegosaurus lamp and wallpaper and toy, but that's it as far as like the dinosaur items go with their stuff packs. So I decided to do the safari theme because there was a lot more items that came with the um, tiny travelers pack that are more safari themed and like the different animals and stuff So I felt like that just looked a little bit more like put together like the rest of the house and less Like mismatched because I could have used the dinosaurs along with the safari theme and I probably would have done that if I was doing like One of my regular family homes that I do but I mean this family is very put together Everything is planned out the way they decorate their home at least that's the look I was trying to go for and so um, I tried to even do that in the kids rooms and tried to add more just like cohesive decorations and it's less messy and less cluttered than I would normally do a child's room. So yeah, I think it actually turned out really nice. I love this dresser area. I cluttered it up with a few different decorations. These binoculars are so cute. And also that uh, crocodile toy is super adorable too. And in here, I also end up using this custom uh, kids uh, what do you call it? Activity table. They used the archaeology table that came from Jungle Adventure and made a child's table. It's so, so cute. And I thought it looked adorable in there. Um, but over here is going to be the teenager's room. So the teenager's room is my favorite room in the house, just because I think the colors that I went for look really pretty and just super soft and super feminine. And I think this wallpaper just matches really nicely too. And I also added a couple of stuffed animals in here just to kind of make it seem more like like a younger person's room because it was feeling a bit like adult feeling, which I mean was the look I was going for, but I think adding a couple of stuffed animals still made it feel a little bit more youthful. Like I can imagine this teen being like a younger teen, but very adult and mature at the same time because I feel like the decorations just um, are giving off that vibe. But the stuffed animals bring it back to feeling more kid-like. So hopefully that makes sense. But I just think this room turns out looking just really nice and 
I just, I love the artwork and I think it just matches the rest of the build so nicely with still feeling like a different room. Um, and the colors are super pretty. I just, I, I'm obsessed with the colors in this room. So yeah, that's it for the whole interior. And then over here is going to be the exterior. I have the patio area. And then of course I decorate inside of the greenhouse. They have their own custom planter boxes that I think are just really beautiful. I mean, like all of their objects that came in all of their stuff packs. But um, yeah, I think the greenhouse turned out to be really nice. I like the flooring that I used in here. It came with the organic pack. And then I just fill it up with a few different decorations. I was trying to use a combination of stuff that came in actual like Sims packs, but if they just, they didn't feel right in there to me. So I ended up getting rid of them. Although before I took the screenshots, I ended up adding a couple of decorations. I think a debug watering can and then maybe like two plants. So you'll see that in the screenshots just because I felt like part of it felt a little bit empty. But over here is the swimming pool area. So they have their own pergola that came in their Jardine pack. So I didn't have to use that base game one. And then I also have an outdoor dining table, the barbecue, lounge chairs. I also ended up adding a hot tub. And these couches came with their living room themed pack and not their patio themed pack. But I thought these couches actually looked really nice in an outdoor living area. So I think this whole swimming pool area feels very luxurious and super pretty. And I love the soft wood tones with like the creams. I'm just completely obsessed with them. And yeah, I think this swimming pool area turned out to be really nice, but yeah, over here I do end up adding like one or two clutter items by the barbecue. And then over here on the back patio area, I end up placing the, um, I think that just the don't wake the llama table with a couple of chairs around it and not the actual don't wake the llama table game on top of it because your sims can actually just play cards there and i thought it looked a little bit cleaner and nicer like that but um yeah that's it for that area and then over here is going to be the garage so in the garage i wanted it to feel like a garage <laughs> so um i tried to decorate it that way but i also tried to make it match the way i've been decorating the rest of the house and everything so i didn't want it to be messy or too cluttered or anything but I also wanted it to be pretty functional. So I added the flower arranging table in here. I added the woodworking table, but I also created my own like custom flower arranging area that looks a bit more modern and it looks more like the rest of the house. And I was thinking that one of the parents that lives here likes to create their own like flower arrangements because um, a lot of the plants that came in their different stuff packs have really just interesting, like uh, they just look, interesting basically and i was thinking maybe we could think that one of the sims made them like this terrarium and then also there's this really cool chair that has like plants growing out of it and i was thinking that was a project that they're currently working on and so i just tried to find clutter items that i thought worked nicely with this idea and yeah, it's just purely decorative. It's not a functional area, but I think it looks nice. So hopefully you guys will like it too. And hopefully you guys have liked this build. And like I mentioned, the description box is gonna have a ton of information. You guys can download the tool mod there. You guys can uh, follow the links over to the House of Harlix to download the stuff packs by Felixander and Harry. Like I mentioned, they're both amazing creators. They create their own custom content aside from their collaboration. So you guys can uh, download all of their stuff as well. And yeah, just, check out the description box, follow them everywhere. They're both amazing and talented. And I can't wait for part two of the organic pack. It's gonna be amazing. But this is it for the build. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed and I hope you guys enjoy the screenshots. So thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.
Is out. 